This is one of those items that I get questioned about a lot. Uh, you see it in almost all of my videos. It's right behind me on the workbench most of the time. This is the Yellow Hornet. It is a jig for sharpening blades. You just use any kind of angle grinder that you can mount in here and uh, you can slide the blade through to sharpen your blade. It keeps you at that 30 degree angle that your blades need to be. I did a video about this whenever I first got it. Uh, I really just talked about the fact that I had got it and then showed kind of how to set it up. If you haven't checked that video out and if you'd like to know how to set this thing up, make sure you check out that other video. Now it's been roughly seven, eight, maybe nine months that I've had this thing and that I've been using it on a regular basis. I've actually been really impressed. It was actually surprising to me at the beginning to see how off I was on my blades. You know, just doing a hand grinder in the uh, vise was the way I used to do it. It was actually kind of surprising to me how kind of off I was getting that angle. Uh, I didn't feel like I was at the time. Putting those blades onto here, I was really able to see that and it actually took a lot of grinding to uh, get those blades to the 30 degree angle. Overall, I've been really impressed with this jig. It does what it's supposed to do. You know, the grinder is a Milwaukee grinder. I, I've seen where guys just get the Harbor Freight ones, all kinds of stuff. I actually run a 40 grit sanding disc on here. That's pretty aggressive, but uh, I like it because it makes it really quick and easy. Get this done, get your blade sharpened, and just be done with it. Now, you do kind of have to be careful whenever you're using a 40 grit like that because you are taking off of a lot of material really quickly. What I'd like to do now is kind of go over some of the cons that I've found after using this for as long as I have. One of the first things I noticed with this is the grindings. It sprays grindings everywhere. I mean, it's all over the workbench. I'm constantly having to clean it up. It's just, it's really bad. It really does spray them everywhere. I've seen some of the guys that have those more expensive ones, they have like a catch that catches some of those grindings into a bin. I'm not sure if I could make something like that for this. I haven't really thought about it or tried, but uh, I just have dealt with you know that the grindings are going to be everywhere and I'm just going to vacuum them up occasionally. Now with that the grindings do catch into this little area and they will build up over time until they're almost touching the uh, sanding disc. You do have to kind of knock those off occasionally and I just use a hammer and just like an old flathead screwdriver and just kind of knock it off of there occasionally just to keep it from touching the grinding disc. So there are two kind of blades that I have found that uh, you really aren't able to do on this grinder. These right here are just a skag blade. They're, they're kind of their mulching blade, kind of gator blade, I guess you would call it. As you can see, it's got that little hump and arch that goes up and back down. You're not able to do this type of blade on one of these grinders. I'm not sure if it's the same way on some of those more expensive ones, but this one, this is a no-go. Now this is another blade that does not work on this. This is a gator blade that I found on I think eBay, something like that. Off brand, no name brand. I ended up really not liking them and I actually bought several sets of them. I used them a little bit as you can tell, but I ended up buying some Oregon blades and uh, changing these out over to those. But the way this is, the way the gator teeth are shaped, uh, I don't think you're going to be able to see this on camera, but as you pull it across the guide, it actually wants to cause the blade to twist a little bit, and it uh, gives you a bad grind on the end of the blade. And no matter how many times I kind of tried to find a way to get it in there to ride with that straight, even cut, I never was able to get it in there right and uh, get it to give a good edge to these blades. Now these standard skag blades, this is probably, I guess, their medium lift blade. These things work really good, will sharpen up really good in this grinder. They have a good smooth side to them. You get a good pull through. Uh, you don't have any issues with it wanting to wobble on the guide. So these work really good. So I definitely think a guy like me, a, a small company, a solo operator, uh, a system like this is really good for one of us because of the fact that we're not sharpening very many blades a week. You know, I sharpen uh, like five blades a week 
where other companies out there, they're sharpening, you know, 20, 30, 40, 50 blades a week. So I definitely don't think something like this would work for them. I don't think it's uh, industrial enough for that situation. But the small guys like us that don't want to spend a lot of money, I, I can't exactly remember how much this costs. I'll actually put a link in the description over to this. You can get it on Amazon. Just check that link out and that'll give you the price. So overall, so far, I think this has been a great product. I've been very happy with it. I think it was worth the money that I spent on it. It definitely uh, has made my blades last longer because I'm getting that exact same grind every single time. It's made it faster because it's actually faster to grind through this than to hand grind them by just putting them in the vise. So that's just my little update here on the Yellow Hornet. Uh, if you guys have any questions, just put it in the comments and I'll answer it the best that I can. If you enjoyed this content, make sure you hit that thumbs up. Also, make sure you subscribe to the channel and check out some of these other videos.